Hello, we are Dr. Paper Mario. I am White Blade Zero. We got knocked out by Merlin's door, and we just woke up. And I don't know why I'm talking like this, and I am losing my breath. <sighs> Note to self: never do that again. So yeah. Anyways, la last time on Paper Mario, we just got we just met Twink, got the action command, and defeated a magic Koopa. Whoopee. Now this time we are talking with Merlin, and he is telling us what, which um, path we need to take. So it sounds we need to go to Goomba, uh, I mean Koopa Brothers Fortress. Too many brothers here. So we are on our way. But first we'll have to heal up, so I'll just cut this at the moment. Okay, we're all set here, now let's go to the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Hmm, this guy thought he knew everybody in town, but apparently these guys don't seem familiar to him. Well, somehow they seem familiar to me. <clears throat> Fun fact. Yeah, many, many years ago when I used to rent this game, I could never, ever get past this part. Yeah, I was so young back then. And stupid. But now, it turns out, in order to get past here, you have to talk to Merlin straight off, not across the table. <clears throat> and yet... Notice how Gumbario was just walking right there? That's just so weird. Uh, AI. Weird. So yeah, there's Merlin again. And now we come to more talking. These guys don't want us to pass. And now Merlin uses his magic and... whoop de doo It's the Koopa Brothers! As if it wasn't obvious enough. Alright, then just ski that all back. Now it's telling us we need help from a blue-shelled Koopa in Koopa Village. Okay, that's easy enough. <clears throat> Alright, now we save here. And... Oh, yeah. Now we're just going on to the, um, to the shop, I believe. <clears throat> yeah. Telltown shop, get, get a few items, and then we'll be on our way. I, cl I clicked the wrong button to see, um... How many items I have? We have enough room for six more. And I think that's how much cash I have left, based on what I buy here. A couple of honey syrups. Those restore 5 FP. Mushrooms, 5 HP, as if we didn't know that already. Hmm, pow block. That'll be good for enemies we will meet later on. <coughs> and one more fire flower. I think now we are fully stocked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're fully stocked. Unfortunately, you can only have up to 10 items with you. Bummer. Okay, now we are on our way to the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Now, we begin. Chapter 1, Storming Cooper Brothers Fortress. Let's start this thing. Okay, I forget the name of this area. But now we meet a new enemy. <coughs> This is the Koopa Troopa! 4 HP, um, I think 2 attack and 1 defense. Yeah, Gumbario explains. I should really just stop talking about the enemies until he starts talking. Okay, 1 attack. My bad. <clears throat> yeah, at this point, your, your attack power alone won't damage him as long as he's standing up. If you have him on his shell, he's weak. So yeah, that's simple. Okay, th uh, that's another thing I forgot to mention about the action command. If you press the A button before the enemy strikes, you can you can guard. But unfortunately, it doesn't negate damage completely. It only gives you like one extra defense power. That's pretty much it. Okay, now we are we continue on our way. Another battle skip. You'll see a lot of those in this playthrough. Don't like it? Don't watch. Simple as that. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, switching badges? Yeah, switch for chill out. Yeah, the Koopa Troopas are the are the um, <coughs> the first enemy that'll hit you with first strike. And we continue, and we have and we get ourselves. I said we get ourselves a new badge, the Dizzy Attack badge. When you wear that, if you use your little spend technique, use the L button on the field, by the way. Uh, L trigger on the GameCube and classic controllers, that is. The, if you hit them with an enemy, they'll become dizzy for the first turn. And we get a Fright Jar. Use that, you scare enemies away. However, you don't get any star points. I don't recommend those unless you're speedrunning. 
That's how you guard against their attacks, by the way. And I forgot, that's how you use the hammer as well. Alright, we can't seem to get by here. We have another power block. What item to get rid of this time? Eh, we get rid of Sleepy Sheep. I don't really rely on, the, on those type of items. And we have a switch. Point it on. We get a bridge. And how do you suppose that happened? Hm. Oh, well. Another Goomba. Now, here's a situation I should probably mention. Don't always attack with Mario first. After all, if Gumbario hits a, hits a spiked enemy, he won't be able to attack the next turn. He'll basically be stunned. So, if a spiked enemy is in the back, instead of in the front, choose Mario second. Because unfortunately, the hammer can only hit enemies up front. Remember that. And here's a situation. Item time. What item to use, though? Here's the power block. Yes. Attacks all ground-based enemies and does two damage to them. So if you're surrounded by spiked Goombas, power block them. Okay, we mosey on down here. And what do we have? A star piece, but unfortunately we cannot get to it just yet. We will come back later. Okay, we have another sleepy sheep. Useless. Okay, we check these boxes. They have nothing. Battle of Koopa failed to get first strike. <clears throat> and here comes the pow block again. Yep. Uh, oh. Okay, my mistake. So the pow block hits all enemies, not just ground based. My mistake. Shows how smart I can be. Not. And we have more coins. Coins galore. We need money. We love money. Oh, now this is very good here. Cause we're already at full health, but if you ever low on health, <laughs> you gotta love this. I find this so hilarious somewhat. Especially with the remix of the um, star theme. We have another honey syrup. Yummy. Honeysuckle. <coughs> For those that have seen uh, Winnie the Pooh. Alright, now over here we have a new hidden badge. I'm not sure I remember if I got this right. So, left, right, and the top one, we get a new badge. It is Attack Effects B. Yes, an another Attack Effects badge. We will put it on right away. And I think most of you guys would recognize this sound from last part, I think. Alright, there you go. And now we are in. Koopa Village! Gotta love it. Gotta love the Koopas. But apparently, they're under attack by those annoying fuzzies. I don't like fuzzies either. You can pretty much see what their problem is. <clears throat> All the stupid fuzzies are taking away their shells. Which, um, apparently takes away their pride as well. Everyone has their own kind of pride. I guess for the Koopas, it's their shells. Now here, taking out all these fuzzies in the village isn't required, but being a naturally nice guy, I just do it for the fun of it. <clears throat> Besides, for those that try to try to get them anyways, I'll probably show you how to do it. As I missed it, as I missed the next one. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's how you get that shell out. <clears throat> Clear my throat a lot. And here's how you get this shell. Yes. I don't know if I mentioned already, there's no reward for these guys for rescuing their shells. Alright, we're gonna cut this here. Next time on Paper Mario, we shall continue to fight the fuzzies in Koopa Village and hopefully make our way to the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Until next time, Mario fans, and Koopa fans, and fuzzy haters.